Ukrainian government has laid out a set of regulatory reforms for the artificial intelligence, virtual reality and fintech sectors. The government is hoping this will create fresh growth momentum by encouraging businesses to make full use of the new technologies. Wu Jung-hee has the details. The Korean government is easing regulations to foster artificial intelligence as a new growth engine for the country and boost the related industries of virtual reality and fintech. Acting President Hwang Kyo-wan endorsed the plans at a related minister's meeting on Thursday. To that end, the Ministry of Science, ICT and Future Planning aims to formulate new legal frameworks to actively and safely use artificial intelligence. The legal frameworks will seek to minimize errors caused by artificial intelligence and define a chain of responsibility for accidents. Intellectual property rights for big data will also be acknowledged. The ministry will also invest in the VR sector to encourage research and development and facilitate overseas expansion. VR bang in Korean or gaming centers where people can enjoy VR games will be expanded with the addition of safe facilities. Lastly, the ministry will invest in systems to make financial services more convenient through the use of fintech or financial technology. New systems will be made to facilitate transparent trading of virtual currencies, and robo-advisors will be implemented for use starting this year. Through these measures, the government expects to generate business opportunities worth roughly 470 billion U.S. dollars for over 50 VR companies and 300 fintech companies by 2020. New technologies change industries and cause diverse social changes. Today we talk about these three, but our ministry will also work to come up with innovation-friendly regulations for the Internet of Things, cloud systems, big data and self-driving cars to allow Korea to become an intelligence information society. By implementing these measures, Korea is taking another step toward ensuring the country is prepared for the fourth industrial revolution so it can foster new industries and businesses and will hopefully improve people's quality of life. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.